Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Jimmy. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am here with a few fragrances that I feel like should be discussed all together. Uh, I'll talk about this one. We have Juicy Pear, which I've talked about in a previous video. And I gave it pretty good reviews. Uh, I have Musky Pineapple by Dua and another Dua fragrance called Fruit Lemonade. Not Fruity Lemonade, Fruit Lemonade. So they're all fruity, they're all sounding pretty safe in which they are. They're not mixed with anything very risky. They're not mixed with anything that's um, hard to digest, even for beginners. I mean, these are perfect. If you are a novice to do a fragrances or fragrances in general, but you just don't want to start with the hard stuff, <laughs> the stuff that the stuff that like lasts for hours, uh, do is a great place to go, but be careful what you get, okay? Um, you can get musky pineapple, juicy pear, or fruit lemonade. Let's go over juicy pear really quick. And this one compared to musky pineapple, juicy pear is a more slightly subdued because naturally the pear is more subdued than the pineapple in my opinion. So the juicy pear fragrance is rounded and it's very ripe smelling of a pear. If you have a pear and you put it right to your nose, you can always just tell how ripe it is. You, your fingers kind of push into it and it's very soft, maybe a little too soft. It's right in that border. That's where this is. There's no sense of tartness or sourness here. Um, you, you know when you have a pear like this, it's just going to drip all over your chin. And it has a little bit of that musk and creaminess in the background. So it's not just candied pear, sugary pear. It's very realistic pear, but very concentrated. So sprayed once around you would make more sense than just one dark concentrated spot on your sweater, for example. This can be layered, which is why I like it so much. It's very inoffensive. It can be used uh, for young to old uh, or elderly, I should say, uh, men or women. I totally think this works for anybody. In the same vein, musky pineapple does the same thing, except this is more tart, a little bit more sharp because pineapple is more sharp and juicy compared to juicy pear. Yeah, but this one I would say more than juicy pear, the musky pineapple, despite the fact that it is musky and a little vanillic uh, to help support that as a base, it does cut through more. I wouldn't say it's sharp to the nose when you smell it, but it does cut through. So great for the uh, fall time. If you want to layer with things to brighten up your other concoctions that you wear, Musky pineapple is a do-it-all fragrance. Now I remember doing, since I'm doing this video for the second time, I think it's called Demeter Demeter Pineapple. There was a very simple pineapple fragrance that everyone raved over for a few years ago uh, as accompaniment to Aventus. And Aventus is a very notable pineapple scent that people try to uh, clone and recreate. And people love that pineapple note. It was just so popular, and it still is. And since Dua has other concoctions and fragrances that have more pineapple in them, Parfums Vintage, also a great company that I like, um, has made other fragrances with a hyped up pineapple that I have as well. I recommend those. I'll talk about that in a different video. But this one is a replacement to all those fragrances that have just pineapple in them. If you ever thought to yourself, man, I wish I had a fragrance that just had simple pineapple, no tar, no birch, no uh, woods or tobacco, just pineapple that lasted the whole day, that could possibly mix with other things depending on your mood. Well, musky pineapple is it. Juicy pear is it. Uh, Aventus is not an Aventus clone. It's just the juicy pineapple nectar syrup that can be used to uh, do anything, including layering or just stand on its own. Juicy Pear, if I were to relate it to anything, possibly Pear Ink by Juliet Has a Gun. You can find that and get a sample of it at Sephora. And that one is kind of just more vanillic. This one is really pear-y compared to Sephora's Juliet Has a Gun brand. So if you think that one maybe just smells okay and you want real pear, get the Juicy Pear from Dua. Also, I don't believe this has anything like animalic in it. I think the one that Juliet has a gun, the, their pear ink fragrance has some sort of chemical from a monkey's butt. Uh, I'm not too positive about that, but I think I saw it on there and it kind of turned me off. 
<laughs> okay, whenever I say that, it makes me laugh. Okay, here is the last fragrance I wanted to go over that kind of goes in line with these other fragrances, and that's Fruit Lemonade by Dua. This is also an extra de parfum concentration. And the reason why I say that is because you think, oh, it's a citrus fragrance, it's not gonna last very long. And perhaps it won't last as long as there are other very heavy fragrances, uh, masculine or feminine, in their catalog, which is vast, okay? But I will say this lasts a very long time for what it is. Even off the nozzle, it is strong. So it's sweet, right? So juicy pear is sweet, ripe. Musky pineapple, sweet. Uh, a little sour and tart. And very realistic and concentrated and piercing too through the air um, fruit lemonade very inoffensive kids adults teens layering this fits that hole in your collection for sure the only issue i had with fruit lemonade is that maybe it's not a year-round fragrance okay i think that's fair to say i think you can probably guess that by the name i think fruit lemonade works really well uh, for the summertime, um, when you're out on vacation, when you're on a cruise perhaps, which I don't know why I'm saying cruise, I've never been on a cruise before, but I would imagine if I was on a cruise, <laughs> I'm sorry I'm pointing, very emphatic today, I would say Fruit Lemonade would kind of take care of all those bases. Maybe I'll go through a whole 30, um, 30 mil bottle on a vacation over a week. That, this would be really great. I think it makes a statement too, because it's light, it's fruity, it's not floral, uh, but it has a little bit of muskiness in there to kind of have it grab onto on your skin. Um, this kind of smells different in a way because I smelled orange, I smelled lemon, I smelled bergamot, but fruit lemonade at this strong of a concentration with nothing else in it, no florals, nothing else, no agarwood or ambroxan, it's just fruit lemonade. Well, how inoffensive, how safe is that? That's fantastic. And it lasts a long time. It might be the perfect summer fragrance. The only thing is, it's not fresh. It's not peppery. And maybe that was the intention. Um, there's lots of fresh, peppery, citrusy fragrances already out there. So why not just get a collection? By the way, I'm not sponsored by anybody, okay? I'll let you know. But this is not a line of fragrances that is fresh. It's a fragrance line that I think is very sweet, inoffensive, and realistic um, when it comes to fruit only. When it comes to that, I think it's also kind of risky, right? I think the thing you can do here is like, oh, it's juicy pear with some sort of exotic wood. But in a way, you're going back to what's already been done. Then people are going to draw conclusions and make connections that aren't there based on your biases and opinions. These are just these. They're just fruity, slightly creamy renditions and strong concentrations of what you're used to in your brain. Maybe from your childhood, perhaps, or during the summer. Who doesn't love juicy pear? Who doesn't love a ripe pineapple and refreshing lemonade? Now, this can be, be compared to Dior Homme Cologne, but this, if you're looking for strong, sweet power, Dior Homme Cologne is not it. Dior Homme Cologne is, it's a body scent. It's just a skin scent. It's just part of your BO in a good way and it kind of covers you in a musk, which I like about it. It's not the strong lemonade that reviewers tend to say. This is strong lemonade. I'm telling you that right now. You want to smell like lemonade? I mean, maybe. It's just a skin scent. This is lemonade. You want to layer this with stuff? There's the endless possibilities. These are have endless possibilities and I'm talking about getting like a fragrance like a tobacco fragrance like Jazz Club and then layering it with something like you know a fruity fragrance to really make it pop who knows Allure Om Sport a super lemony fragrance that has this downside in my opinion if you want to have that piercing uh, fragrant fruitiness with a sport uh, sport bottom to it you know try one of these and then make your own sport fragrance with some freshness to it. This might work, especially like me, if you're not a, fra a fragrance fanatic of Allure Homme Sport Cologne. Um, anyway, that's all I want to talk about today. That's the three fragrances I want to go over. 
hopefully that gives you some insight on the vast catalog that Dua has available. Um, they have masculine, feminine, scents from all around the world that range from discontinued to fragrances that are originals to fragrances that have changed and um, got reformulated over the years. You know, what about the basics? Basic fruit fragrances that anyone would enjoy. Even if you don't wear them, perhaps you just enjoy smelling them once in a while, like I do. And then turning the cap and drinking a little bit when no one's looking. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.